Well, hey there, and welcome to Jim's Kitch Kitchen. Well, the viewers have spoken. I put out a poll on what food history thing we should learn about next, and you voted, and the winner is Ritz. Da 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 da. Putting on the Ritz. Okay, Ritz was introduced by Nabisco in 1934. I'm gonna use these Ritz to create something exciting. I'm making Ritz candy. I learned about this recipe from a channel, a huge channel, they're called Yo-Yo Max, and she makes the most awesome things. Well, she came up with Ritz candy and I can't wait to try it out. This Ritz cracker is actually a copy of another cracker from the Sunshine Baking Company called the Hi-Ho Cracker. Now the Hi-Ho Cracker just couldn't compete when Ritz came out because of all the amazing marketing. So you're gonna need two sleeves of Ritz crackers. You're gonna need a take up, you're gonna need to crush them a little bit, like that. Both the logo and the name Ritz were created by a Nabisco employee, Sidney Stern. He came up with the logo because inside of his hat he had a logo with a blue circle and yellow lettering. We need two tablespoons of butter. So the time period this came out was during the Great Depression. And the word Ritz definitely referred to very opulent and extravagant things because of the Ritz Hotel. Well, they said, oh, we love this Ritz name, so they decided to use that as the name. And they would say, eating a Ritz is like having a bite of the good life. And four cups of marshmallows. I'm going to microwave this for about 30 seconds to one minute, keeping a very close eye on it until it's puffed and melted. Although Ritz isn't the number one selling snack brand, it did come at number one according to a government survey of food brands. Oh, it's all puffed. Now I'm going to stir it until smooth. So a Ritz cracker has seven holes on it, and it's put on by a special machine called a docker. And basically, the distance that the holes are to each other and the number of holes lets you know, gives you a certain type of texture of the cracker. So because of Ritz's seven holes, that's what gives it that special texture. Add a teaspoon of vanilla, stir that in. Stir in those two sleeves of cracker crumbs until well combined. The Nabisco Company was the very first company to come up with this special food preservation tactic that works. They put food inside of a wax bag inside of a cardboard box and it keeps food fresh longer. I'm gonna pour this into a greased baking dish I'm gonna press it down in there, and then I'm gonna refrigerate it until it's set. Time to chop it up. I'm gonna cut it up into little squares. Ritz cracker candy. Let's give it a try. Mmm. Mmm. That's great. Kind of like a Rice Krispie Treat, but a little bit of a different texture and a different flavor. Buttery goodness. Ritz Cracker Candy rocks. Thanks for celebrating Ritz with me. And thanks for watching me here at Jim's Kitch Kitchen. I hope you'll come again and join me here in my kitchen. It's always great having you. See you later. What is a Ritz Crackers favorite music group? Panic at Nabisco. <laughs> <laughs>